Cotton making plays a key role in the garment production process. Cottons bring to life designs and sketches produced by fashion designers. On this channel, I'll teach you the principles underlying all garment types and the techniques employed by pattern makers to achieve amazing and fabulous styles. Hi, my name is Na Abele and this is Patterns with Na. Welcome once again to my channel. Hi, and I hope you're all doing well. Well, today's work is on dart transfer, but this time we are doing double dart transfer. Still on the slash and spread technique, or cut and spread, or slash spread. They are all the same. And so today we're going to move two darts into two different locations. And so, as usual, this is our block, the bodies block the front, as you can see, I have traced it out onto the paper and cut it. So I'm going to put the block away. Yeah. So now, this is our paper, this, this is what we are going to work on today. And so today we're going to move our bus dart, this time, to our center front this tip here and then I waste that somewhere here so I'll go over it again our bus that will be transferred to our center front the neck you know the corner and then the waist that will be transferred to our center front this time it's not the corner we're going to move up a bit so this is so as usual, we start by drawing our slash line from the new location. So for the two, for the bus dart, this is the new location. So a slash line from the new location to the bust point. And then for our waist dart, this will be the new location. Yeah. That's it. So let's go on and then effect our transfer. So I'm going to move this for you to see it clearly on the table. So that so this is our new location for the bus dart. So we slash through the new location to the bus dart. That's it. And then, as I did earlier in the earlier video. I'm going to select the dart leg further away from the new location. This time is this dart leg. Then I slash through it. That's how I work because it makes things very easy for me. I got this small space, just this small area to work with. Yes. So this is the hinge. We've created the hinge right here. It's like the hinge. So it's like the whole thing sits on this small piece, you know, this very small support so we are able to move it around we're able to manipulate the small piece that is why i like working with the dart leg further away from the new location hmm. so that is it so this time straight away i'm going to slide it under this to close the dart i brought the two dart legs together and so the new location you can see the dart has been transferred to the new location, a new space has been opened up. I'll put this underneath it for you to see. That's it, as you can see, there's a new a gap here, and it is this bus that transferred to the new location. Right, so I'll tape it quickly. So this is what it is. The bus that is now here. So we quickly fill up the gap again with paper we fill this up quickly and then we can complete it remember it's a pattern so we cannot leave the gap as it is we need to fill it up and then we further we work on it further to complete it as a pattern so here we are I'll take this from underneath it that's it so you can see can see what I've just done 
the bird that has been moved to this new location, the center front, mm -hmm. the neck, the tip of the neck. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. So let me I'll complete this a bit. I have a video on um, completing completing the the dart that will follow later but for now we are learning to use the techniques to move that around the block to create different styles so that's where we are so now we are quickly going to move this waist that also to the new location so this is a new location i've already drawn the slash line from the new location to the bus point so let's go over it quickly I know you are becoming masters of this art. So we go on. And then again, I go to the dark leg further away from my new location. Slash through it quickly. So here we go. We have the hinge. We've created the hinge here. And then quickly slide it under the paper to close the dark legs. And then you can see, so I'm tipping it right away. Tip it with a cello tip, and then straight away you can see the space has it's now open here. I'll put this, yes, I'll put the card here for you to see it. You can see the new location has now it's opened up, there's a gap here, so it is again the waste that transferred there. So I'm going to fill it up quickly as we did earlier. So we are doing, we are on double that transfer. And we just moved the two darts, the two that the, the buzz dart, and then the waist dart out to new locations. So I'll just finish this quickly. So here we are. This comes like that, and that goes. So we close it. So we have the bus dart now in this location, and then the waist dart in this location, as you can see. Now I'm going to paint this up for you to see the finished work. So as you can see, let me help out. This is the original location of the bus dart. It has now been effectively transferred to the center front. You can see the corner the neck. So the bus that has now been transferred here, so this will give us a different style. Indeed, this um, dart can be used in any way. You know these beautiful dresses with the dart um, not completely sewn, but held in like a tuck. This is how to get it. You can use the same, same um, technique to effect that. And then when you come to the waist, the waist that has also been transferred here. And so we have a beautiful V-like shape here. You can see it. And this fits our model nicely. So this is a double two, double dart transfer using the slash spread technique. So we've transferred it and we are working within dart manipulation. That is the principle. We are working, moving the darts within the block to create different styles. So it doesn't change the fit. The size is not changed, but the style changes. This is what it is. This is our second. Well, um, you've done so well. You've been with us all the way. Just give yourself a hand. Thank you very much for staying with us. And of course, remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and then let everybody know that we are here. We are here. Please, your comments are very, very important to us. And so, definitely leave your comments below. And then go down to the other links and then get our other videos. Join us, subscribe, and then tell everybody about us. Ciao! See you in our next video. We have a lot for you. Bye! <laughs>